I'm theater critic for the New York Times, Charles Isherwood. Hey! Stop. I'm here because I'm on a book tour for my recent book, Charles Isherwood Reviews Things That Everyone Else Thinks Are Good. <laughs> no, I thought I had a slide, but I totally forgot to send it to Josh. So pretend that the cover of my book is there. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to read an excerpt from my new book, Charles Isherwood Reviews Things That Everyone Else Thinks Are Good. Piano? Oh, sorry. This is called My Sister's Baby. My Sister's Baby, which showed so much promise in the nine months leading up to its birth, has lost any coherent meaning as it culminated in a cheap miasma of cheap comedy, bogus lyricism, and pointless obscurity. When the baby came out of my sister, currently being produced at her two-story home in Lansing, Michigan, there was some initial excitement. But when I visited the baby last week, I mostly just watched in bored stupefaction, wondering what my sister, the home's artistic director and the director of the baby, found engaging about the material, which is odd without being remotely captivated. <laughs> of the baby's language cannot be understood by grown adults, which is significantly exasperating for the audience. I'm not sure what my sister was thinking when she had me, a grown adult man, over to her home to appreciate this nonsensical tiny person, but I can safely say I was flabbergasted by the lack of coherence and artistic merit. <laughs> members of the baby seem to be having a good time laughing, enjoying themselves. I confess, I checked out of the dreary onstage doings completely for a few hours. It was hard to concentrate on the baby, loud though it was, while wondering what might have taken place on the episode of Love Boat I just watched, featuring the special guest stars Gloria Vanderbilt, Halston, and Bob Mackey. Anyone recall? <laughs> 